All right, to pull the steering, I'm doing this kind of as a, uh, um, just figuring out how to do as I go. Um, just be mindful of what you're pulling apart, and uh, there's no particular order on how I'm doing this, so I'm um, just kind of follow along and I'll, uh, get you through it. All right, this is the uh, steering column coming down, um, shift linkage going back to the uh, transmission back there, um, and then the steering box is right here. Look at all this gunk coming off of there, just scraping off in chunks. That's going to be fun to get out. Um, what I'm going to do right now is disconnect the linkage. There's little clips right here. Pop those uh, little um, pins out. I'm going to reattach the clip to it so that I don't lose them. Both of these. Sorry, no, you can't see. One there, one there. Um, let's see what else is coming out. There's a spring down in here. This is the uh, emergency brake cable. Just below it, there's a spring, so I'm going to disconnect that too. And that goes to the clutch. So, stand by. Alright, inside the cab, down on the on the floor, there's a little plate right here. you got to pull that plate. And also right behind it, there's a rubber-style gasket. So I'm going to pull that off in order to get the column out. Of course I'm doing this job in the grass and of course the clip goes flying out so let me show you what I'm doing to fix that because uh, you can't see it here but what I did was get this little magnet this little thing here and just run this over the grass where you think it fell whoop there it goes see there's the clip so also put down this plastic mat just to see if I can, uh, um, if I drop anything, I might be able to keep the, the parts kind of localized right there. Don't forget to remove this linkage as well because you gotta, you got to remove it so you can get that plate off if you have one on the other side. Alright, um, that, that linkage that I just disconnected from the other side, I had to also disconnect from up here. That goes to the clutch pedal, so there's also a little clip you got to pull. And then pull that rod down, and I just pulled it straight out the floor. Um, right here, I just pulled off the plate, come off in two pieces on mine. But there's a nest of just old road debris and stuff. So now I'm going to pull out that uh, that uh, rubber piece here. Oh, it's 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 caked on. So, let me get that guy out. Ugh. Now I gotta clean up the mess and then uh, I can start cutting these wires. You know what, this rat's nest, it, it, it's disgusting. I'm gonna put a new uh, harness in here anyway. Um, don't know what all this goes to, don't really give a shit. And uh, I'm gonna pull the steering wheel. To... All right, I'm gonna pull the uh, beauty ring here. Push down, twist, and it should come right off. So don't try to pry it off, just push down and twist it'll come right off. So this steering wheel has a nut. I'm going to go ahead and um, break that free. I'm hoping I'm not going to need a, a steering wheel puller to pull the steering wheel off, but we'll see. All right, just popped off the, uh, the steering wheel. Uh, make sure you use this properly. Um, there was a little like collet that you can put down on this um, so it'll set on the shaft just um, good enough, but this thing's a piece of crap. So whoever used it before obviously didn't know how to use it because this bolt here is barely gonna go in and this one It was okay, but whoever used it really jacked it up. So be careful when you're borrowing tools All right, so now I'm, I'm going to remove the steering wheel I'm gonna put that in the garage um, Anyway, here is all the horn mechanism stuff and turn signal items. Obviously, this wedge down there probably meant that the horn didn't work. So, who knows what kind of surprises you'll find in here. So, I'm going to go ahead and remove this uh, column shifter um, ring now. Remove the screws that hold this plate down. Make sure you remember to pull that, that spring out. Twist off your turn signal. Um, rod. Okay, just like that. Put it in the bag. Alright, lift up on this. 
All right, it pulls up to your wiring. So you see it's kind of a hack job here. Um, I'm just gonna go ahead and clip it down here and uh, let it go, because all this is gonna get replaced anyway. So I'm gonna go ahead and clip that now. All right, you gotta pull this little shaft sleeve out right there. Make sure you put that in the bag. Don't lose it. Wiggle, out it comes. You go in the bag too. All right, on the uh, shifting lever, there's a little pin right here. You have to push that up, and it'll pull right out through the top here. Just pop a little screwdriver in there. Oh, come on. Can't do this one handed. Hang on. There it goes. Put that in the bag. Twist out the shifting lever. That won't fit in the bag, but uh, I'll at least label it, put it all the other parts. Okay. This collet should come off now. Make sure you pull off your pitman arm. This is right here. Make sure you pull off the two uh, nuts that are on the back side of this plate here that hold the column on. All right, brackets off. So now I'm going to twist this and pull it out through the cab. Stand by. Not sure what that was. It's some kind of seal that was falling out of there. Some kind of oil seal. Um, I'm going to throw that away in a moment. Um, but here is the steering shaft out. This is two pieces. You've got this piece here that comes out. And then you have uh, the tube itself. But also you have the shift linkage on there, so you have to kind of twist and then um, wiggle it out. So careful when you're doing that. All right, remove these three bolts that holds the steering pump on. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull that. All right, bolts are out. So now I'm just gonna move the uh, steering box out and then down. All right, one more piece of linkage that I disconnected was off of the clutch arm here. Um, down there you can see it just hanging. I pulled that off so that I was able to flip this up and then drop the uh, steering box completely down into this space. Bringing the steering shaft down through here so I could pull it out from under the frame. So, no more steering. Alright, there we go. That is the entire steering system from inside my truck. Uh, manual steering box. That little spring that I had to pull apart. Pitman arm, steering shaft. Um, shifter, collar, steering wheel, all those miscellaneous pieces, and then the steering um, column. Now it's got the tube in there, plus it's got some um, shifting forks. So be mindful when you're pulling it apart, and uh, be careful. But as you can see, this thing is a mess. I really don't know if that dent is supposed to be there. I guess I'll ask uh, a couple other people that own slicks and um, go from there. But I have a feeling that the uh, Somewhere along the line, it had a major grease blowout somewhere, probably inside that box, you know, with that seal that was uh, stuck up around here earlier um, when I pulled out that um, sh that tube. So, I don't know. I guess we'll, uh, we'll see when I go to dissect this thing. All right, thanks for watching.